You have your Bibles, turn to James chapter 1. We're going to be looking at the book of James, really one verse, uh, chapter 1. And as he mentioned, we do have a couple resources uh, in the back if you have some questions about the college, different things like that. Uh, we'll try to answer them or direct you to somebody that's not here uh, so that then uh, you leave clueless. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> um, but we'll try to help you out. We do have some uh, books. There is a couple of freebies in the back. There's some pens. And if you've been attending in the last year or been saved in the last year, I, I do have a free book for you. Uh, but with, with the narrowness here, uh, somebody, uh, if you're right with God and you're down front, um, then just tell me that. And the person that's a backslider sitting in the back, and they're, they're heading towards their... Uh, I'll let you have the book first, all right, because you are more right with God than them, although that is kind of arrogant. Uh, so then if you humbly say it uh, to me, uh, then I would accept that. Uh, but with those freebies, uh, just if you're, if you're wanting them, you see somebody else that seems to be grabbing them, trip them, all right, or do something, get them to uh, not get there so uh, fast, all right? But... We appreciate the opportunity. Uh, love Pastor Chris and the Lord. All right, I know it's creepy to say that nowadays, so I, I clarify that in the Lord. And uh, I appreciate his um, zeal for the Lord, his passion for the Word of God. Uh, I believe that God is raising up a, a generation of men, uh, once again, that love God's Word. God's Word should be preeminent in a church. It should be the priority, uh, and you should be able to come to church and leave uh, hearing something, uh, feeling like uh, you got fed, and also, if it's a good sermon.